All right, hey guys, doing another computer art tutorial here today using Pixlr, and what we're trying to create is sort of this surreal scene here where you have something that's floating in the ocean that shouldn't be floating in the ocean, and something like floating on it or hanging out on it. So it could be, you know, anything. You could really use your imagination with this. Something floating on in the ocean. You know, and we're going to go over how to create this effect where it goes, and you can see underneath the water and over the water. And then, um, you know, you could add anything else you want to this scene, things flying, doing whatever you can think of. But just going to go over some quick things with creating this underwater effect. So uh, let's go ahead and toggle home and go create new. This time we will use full HD. Uh, we could call this uh, surreal, surreal ocean. So surrealism means that it's sort of unreal looking, right? So that's kind of the effect we are going for, this kind of odd image or scene. So first thing we're going to need is an image of an ocean sunset. So type that into a Google image search. And really what we're looking for is an image where we basically just have the ocean going flat across, maybe some kind of sunset and ocean just in the water. We don't really want any beach images because we're trying to show what happens underneath the water. So these kind of two, three images here will work pretty well. Um, I'll try and work with this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this image. I saw another one that I liked, but oh yeah, see, I like this one. Oh, it's got uh, it's protected marks on it. All right, never mind, wasting time. So, going to go back to my editor and hit Command V to paste. Oh wow, and look at that, fits right in there. So, uh, if it, yours does not, oh no, this is bigger. I'm just going to zoom out. There we go. Um, I was going to say, if yours does not fit, then stretch it to fit. I actually like this being um, bigger and going to leave it kind of like this. So what we want to do actually is try to have a little bit. You want this ocean line to be about a third of the way from the top of the page. And then this bottom third um, we are actually going to uh, trim. So what we'll do is take the cutout mask uh, button and let's go ahead and oh, we have to select the layer. So we're going to do a shape cutout and mode should be remove and shape should be a rectangle. And I'm just going to go and click and drag to make a box that goes up about a third of the way of this picture. So we want about one third to be sky one third here to be ocean, and then the bottom third to be blank. That's how we should be looking at this right now, okay? So next thing, and that might happen just by moving your image up. I know that's how it worked with my other image, just moving your image up so that this bottom part is blank. That might work fine. It depends on the size of the photo that you pick. And you do not have to use the same photo. You could use different ones. Anyways, so uh, we need gradient tool. So we're gonna take a gradient tool, uh, make a radial gradient. This is gonna go on layer one back here. So make sure you have layer one selected, radial gradient. And we could choose this kind of like gray to blue to black gradient will work pretty well for what we're trying to do. So what we wanna do is start by clicking kind of in the center portion of your picture and then click and drag to a corner. And that's gonna kind of create that gradient effect that sort of like light in the center, kind of like from the sun and then dark off in the corners. Uh, if you don't like it, you could just click drag and maybe you go out further, you know, so I put my point where I let go was further um, if I, want to undo, command Z to undo. I kind of liked it. Uh, I think I nailed it on the first one. So i uh, going to leave this like that. Now, the next thing we want to do is because this doesn't really quite look like underwater, we want to uh, do a search for some clouds. So I just typed in fog cloud here and I got a pretty good image of a cloud here. A couple really good ones like this will work to blend as well. Um, so it doesn't have to be the exact same image I'm choosing. Something that's got some like foggy mistiness going on to it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try to use this one actually, different from one I used in my example, but I'm going to go ahead and copy it, go back over here and hit Command V to paste it. Um, I'm going to take this image and expand it to go the entire width 
of my picture. Um, and then what I want to do is turn down its opacity so I can see through it. So turn down the transparency and you can see how it kind of blends with the um, water under here which looks pretty good. Um, but what I'm going to also do is actually take my cutout tool again and what I want to do is cut out from this image. We're going to go to remove from cutout uh, and do a shape rectangle and I want you to click and drag again and go right to the edge of the bottom of your water where the top uh, of that uh, the water and the underwater starts to show. So we really just have that on the bottom part. So now I'll go to transparency and try and turn this back up because really what I want this to do is to have a blend mode of soft light is what I want to try. Okay, and that's what I want. So transparency to 100, blend mode at soft light with that little cloud section there. All right, and so that kind of helps make this kind of like sort of like murky water, underwater effect going on with the underwater portion. Um, so the other thing that you may notice at this point too is that the uh, line edge here is really hard. It's really sharp. So what we're actually going to do is let's take our image layer, so the image with the sunset, and just going to use, we're still on our cutout tool, uh, go to draw cutout. We are going to remove from cutout and we're going to make this brush just a little bit bigger, I think. Um, and I want the softness to be probably pretty far up. 50% is probably good. Um, and then what I want to do is just going to try this here. Yeah, just going over that edge, just kind of like lightly erase. You know, you're, you're kind of like removing a little bit of that really sharp edge that happens along that part um, so that it's not just like a solid line along the bottom. Uh, it kind of blurs it a little bit so it looks a little more believable. Okay, so Next thing, now we're at the point where you got to pick what it is that's going to float in the ocean, whether you're doing like a ship that's like sinking or it's just like a barrel or it's something weird random like a jukebox or a guitar or whatever this thing is that's floating in the ocean, that's up to you. Um, we're doing another Google image search. Uh, on a white background is always preferable, so whatever that object is, followed by white background is a good uh, Google image search to do. I'm going to copy that image, close this tab as I keep going. I'm uh, going to hit Command V to paste. Now I want to get rid of that background. Use my magic wand tool, select the white area, hit delete. Click once in each, each one of these white areas and hit delete, 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 delete. When you're all done, Command D will deselect, get rid of that selection box. Now I'm just going to take this and rotate it and uh, figure out where its positioning is going to be. Um, do I want it in the middle? Do I want it a little off to the side? Maybe just a little off to the side like that will be good. Um, and figure out where you want it positioned wise, how much is underwater, how much is above water. So I kind of want it like almost half and half here. Um, and that looks good. So now what we need to do is take this, and I know there's a lot of little steps here, but we're getting there. Take this image and we're going to duplicate this layer. So we need to duplicate that layer so we have two of them. All right, so one is going to show us above water and the other one is going to be kind of blended underneath the water. So let's start with the one that's above water. So this top one here, we want to go to our cutout tool, utilizing this a lot here, masking, cutting out. Uh, mode should be remove shape should be rectangle and what you want to do is start outside your corner click drag and bring that up to that line again okay now you can't see anything happen here but you can see it in this little preview window see how we removed the bottom half of the guitar that's good so if you could see that happening then you're good now we're going to go to the one underneath we're going to keep these same modes selected the shape cut out the remove from cut out the rectangle this time I'm going to start from up top going to click drag down and come down to this uh, line right here for that part and you can see that here now what we have is just half the bottom half of the guitar and the top half. 
this bottom half, what we want to do is we're going to do that soft light blend mode again. So uh, blend mode, soft light, and you can see how that kind of blends that with the water and the cloudiness. Okay, so now we have our submerged object in there. Um, one other thing we'll do to this, the top half now, take your top half of the image selected, we're gonna go to draw cutout, and we're gonna add, we're just gonna take away a little bit more of this, again, because you shouldn't really see it all the way to the edge. I'm gonna make this brush smaller, 40, let's see, that's pretty good. And I'm just going to color this, like this reds that comes from coloring it, and I'm gonna go along the edge to remove a little bit of this because you kind of want like there to be water that's over it so it kind of makes a little more realistic effect that this guitar is actually in the water because I can see some of it in front of it here and that's really all there is to the underwater part of it the last thing I did was added kind of this fun picture of something uh, traveling on my floating guitar here and command V to paste um, again, whatever this object is, uh, always easiest to get it away from its background by having a white background. I'm gonna click delete after getting rid of that white background. Uh, I'm gonna take this guy. I know that he had a little bit of some text, I think, underneath him. Let's uh, zoom in on him a little bit. Yep, so I'm just gonna take my eraser tool and take away some of this. Uh, I do notice that there's the white space between his legs too. I'm gonna click and delete that with my magic wand. Command D to deselect. And let's make this guy sit on here. Like he's going for a ride. Gonna zoom out just a little bit. And there you go. We have this uh, surreal sort of scene here where you've got a parrot riding on a guitar floating off to the sunset. So. Um, that's pretty much it for today's uh, Pixlr computer art distance learning lesson. Uh, hope you guys have fun and luck with creating your own kind of fun, weird, uh, underwater, surreal scene.